In this lesson, we will review different ways of identifying an angle, as well as classifying different types of angles. In the first question, we are asked to list two other ways to name angle Y. Looking at the figure, notice here's angle Y. Angle Y is formed by ray DA and ray DB. Let's begin by reviewing the definition of an angle. An angle is made up of two rays that share a common endpoint. The common endpoint is called the vertex. Looking at the figure of this angle here, the angle is formed by ray BA and ray BC. There's actually two angles here. To know which angle we're referring to, we typically use an arc as shown here. We call the rays BA and ray BC the sides of the angle. We can indicate this angle by stating angle ABC Again, angle A, B, C, notice point B is the vertex. The letter B must always be in the middle. We can also state this angle as angle C, B, A. So going back to our example, because this angle is formed by ray D, A and ray D, B, where point D is the vertex, we can indicate this angle by stating angle A, D, B, or angle B, D, A. Notice in both cases, D is the middle letter indicating point D is the vertex of the angle. In the next question, we are asked to classify each angle as acute, right, obtuse, or straight. Let's review some definitions. First, an angle can be measured in degrees. There are 360 degrees in a full circle, one half of a revolution, is 180 degrees. And now is to find the different types of angles. A straight angle is an angle that measures exactly 180 degrees. Here's an example of a straight angle formed by ray QR and ray QP. This is straight angle PQR. A right angle is an angle that measures exactly 90 degrees. Here's an example of a right angle that measures exactly 90 degrees. Notice how it's formed by ray KL and ray KJ. When we have a right angle, or an angle that measures 90 degrees, instead of using an arc to indicate the angle, we use a square or two small segments, which indicates the measure is exactly 90 degrees. This is right angle JKL. An acute angle is an angle whose measure is between zero degrees and 90 degrees. A zero degree angle would be when the two rays are on top of each other, and we know this angle measures 90 degrees, and therefore here's an example of an acute angle, which again is an angle that measures between zero degrees and 90 degrees. Notice how if we had to estimate the measure of this angle, a good estimate would be between 40 and 45 degrees. An obtuse angle is an angle whose measure is between 90 degrees and 180 degrees, which means the measure is between the measure of a right angle and the measure of a straight angle. Here's an example of an obtuse angle. If we had to estimate the measure of this angle, starting with this ray here, notice how to this point would be 90 degrees. So we'd have 90 degrees plus the measure of the smaller angle here. A good estimate might be around 120 degrees. So going back to our question, this first angle measures exactly 180 degrees, and therefore this is a straight angle. The next angle measures exactly 90 degrees, indicated by this square, two small segments, and therefore this is a right angle. The next angle measures between the measure of a right angle and the measure of a straight angle, or between 90 degrees and 180 degrees, and therefore this angle is an obtuse angle. And then finally, the last angle measures between zero degrees and 90 degrees, and therefore this angle is an acute angle. I hope you found this helpful.